How's it going? Cool backdrop, isn't it? Nice place to film a video. Anyway, right now I'm in the west of Arden, which is one of the most scenic places I can think of. It's got oceans, it's got mountains, it's got pretty deserted places, which is good for photography. So that makes it a perfect spot for drone photography. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. So the drone I have is the Mavic Pro. It's pretty good, there's a new Mavic Pro 2, Mavic 2, Mavic 2 Zoom, something like that. I can't remember the exact name but out now, but this is the Mavic Pro. And the Mavic Air 2 came out recently, I think. Not that I'm advertising them, I wish. But anyway, this is the drone I have. It does really well. I think it goes up to seven kilometers, uh, apparently. I wouldn't trust it past about one kilometer because then it starts to, I don't know, once you can't see your drone, it's really scary. So no one wants to watch me just ramble on about this drone. Let's get straight into the video. Today, we're doing drone photography in the west of Ireland. <laughs> said we're gonna get straight into drone photography but it's just so sunny the waves are really big we're on a beach we're gonna to have to go surfing actually not surfing we forgot surfboards you don't have surfboards so bodyboard we'll have to do okay never mind we got a surfboard off this lad so we're gonna to get to go <laughs> Okay, just out of the water there, that was one of the nicest things. It was so sunny. Water was freezing, but it's always going to be freezing. So I'm going to get the drone out now, fly it up in the air, and hopefully give some tips and tricks as we go. Okay, so we finally got the drone up after two dodgy attempts off the rocks and then off the grass, but it's flying up now. So, we'll see what the view's like up there. Okay, so one thing you want to look for while doing drone photography is contrast. So instead of taking a photo of, let's say, land or a photo of sea, you want to contrast between land and sea. So for example, this shot here is of land, this shot here is of sea, but if you combine them both together and take a photo of both, this is land and sea, it's a lot more appealing. Another thing drones work really well for because they have that bird's eye view is symmetry. So if you're looking straight down, a lot of things around here are symmetrical. Look everywhere you can for those symmetrical items and snap them from above, it looks really sharp. Okay, so as you can see now, we're approaching this uh, meander of a river, which works really well for leading lines. Leading lines are really cool for just drawing the eye into an image, and if you're using a drone, you can see leading lines from roads, from rivers, lines you wouldn't usually see with your own eye. A little tip with leading lines is you tend to want to start them in the bottom corner of an image, so your eye is taken through the image by that leading line, and you see the rest of the image. So something that's really cool on these high-end, more high-end drones is that they have fixed, uh, like, fixed flight patterns or settings in them, such as like panorama, they can subject track, you can image track. It's really cool because you don't have to put in the manual work of like the labor of trying to fly it, which would be really difficult. Instead, you just lock on this thing, put on your panorama mode, put on your subject tracking mode, and you're left with a really cool shot and it'll look like you filmed it. So, got some cool shots there. It was a cool location, but I found it really hard to get a cool drone shot because there wasn't many 
layers to the image. So there was the sea and then there's the mountains, but they weren't close enough together that you could contrast them against each other as such. I did a panorama and I think this shot is really cool. It really shows the depth and range of the area. And as you can see, the place is like deserted. Usually this beach would have a lot of people on it, but right now no one's really going. So I'm just gonna wait for it to get dark because I think drones can be really cool during sunsets. They can get up high and really catch the horizon. So we'll wait for it to get dark. We'll throw the drone up in the air, hopefully catch some sunset shots. There's this mountain called Crow Patrick in County Mayo, which is where I am now. And I'm hoping to get a shot of the drone going across the ocean as it goes towards Crowpatrick with the sunset, which should set somewhere behind or somewhere in the vicinity of Crowpatrick. And I think it'll be really sharp. If I get that photo today, I'll be really happy. So on that note, let's wait for sunset. Okay, so as you can see, it's getting dark now. It might be hard to see with the exposure differencing between me and the background, but the sun's gonna set over that direction and in behind you getting that nice red over all the clouds. So let's get the drone in the air and see what we get. So that was drone photography in the west of Ireland. Let me know which shot was your favorite below in the comments. Personally, my favorite one was this one. The way you see the foreground is so clear and clean, matched by the sea in behind, and then Crow Patrick in behind that creates that layers. And of course, the sky is ripple with purple and different colors of red from the sunset. It just looks really clean, and I'm really happy with it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this, and I'll catch you in the next video.